In Genesis 30, I find this beautiful story. I love Genesis, you know that. In Genesis 30, I find the story of, of Jacob. And Jacob has stayed with Laban for 20 years. 20 years, of course, he has been conned through it. He has been told he'll work for Rachel. Get he gets Leah. Then he gets Rachel. Then they get children. All these things happen. It's a, you know the story in Genesis 30. But Genesis 30 is when he's about to leave and tells Laban, I've worked for you for all these years. I want you to do this for me. I will take the cattle. If your cattle give birth, the ones that are spotted and with stripes, I will take them. The ones that are not are yours. Statistically, it was going to be impossible. He was going to live shortchanged. The Bible says he took a tree, cut the tree, uh, poured you what did a lot of magic, let me say it. He did own things. And the cattle gave birth. But there's something happens in chapter 31. He tells his wives. He tells his wife that God blessed me. What was your father's is now mine. God increased me. He came to the understanding that it was not his tricks of cutting trees and branches and trying to confuse the animals to prepare them pregenetically to see colors and stripes to give birth to that. He realized at that point, it is God, it is not him. Why? He realized it's a good God. When you hear the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, it is that good God. That God who blessed him. He realized it was never his work. It was God who blessed him. But when Laban is pursuing Jacob and is angry at Jacob, the Lord appears to Laban, who is a pagan. He is a pagan. God appears to Laban and tells Abraham, Laban, you will not speak a good thing, neither will you speak a bad thing to Jacob. What is God saying? That he, I am good to Jacob, I protect Jacob no matter what. My dear friends, when you understand the goodness of God, you will walk through this earth confidently. If you think God is bad one instance, you're beginning a slippery slope. And this is something I've preached many times in the class and you've heard me. Because in Genesis 23, I mean, Psalms 23, 6, it says this, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. What is mercy? Mercy is justice, judgment put together with love. In fact, you say this, justice minus love, you get judgment. But justice with love equals mercy. So here, he's saying that, David is saying, goodness and justice with love follows me all the days of my life. Because, and remember, in, the, in Psalms 23, David begins by saying what? Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. Meaning he has veered off. He has wandered. He has gone astray. In going astray, David finds the Lord. Because he knows that goodness and mercy shall follow him all the days of his life. My dear friends, when you remember about the goodness of God, you will enjoy the fruit of this land. When you know the goodness of, of God, you will be protected. When you are about to lose hope, remember he is good. Psalm 27, 13 says this, I would have lost heart unless I had believed, but I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. When I know he is good, I'll say, Lord, I'll wait for your goodness. I'm about to lose hope, but I'll wait for your goodness. Because I believe I will see your goodness in the land of the living. Not in the land of the, of, of the dead. The land of the living in this lifetime. 